It might look a little wild right now, but it will come together. Some looks do not look good until I'm finished. So <laughs> this one is kind of looking a little sketchy right now. What up, it's your girl, Minna. In this video, we are going to be doing a fall inspired look. I have a blazer I'm gonna put on. It's a little mustardy. So we're gonna see how we can complement that blazer with this Too Faced Light My Fire eyeshadow palette. If you're new, I post videos on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Make sure you subscribe. We do a lot. Sundays are vlogs and then and Tuesdays and Thursdays are regular videos like the one you're watching right now. I am also on Instagram. Make sure you follow me there. Make sure you also subscribe to my text community because it's free and you should join. You could text me one on one and otherwise we're gonna get into this. I am going to put some music over me doing my face and brows and then we're gonna talk through the eyeshadow application using this palette. All right, now I'm using this paint pot from MAC. This is the color Soft Ochre. I usually use Painterly, but I wanted to try something new. I'm accustomed to using a paint pot eyeshadow base under my eyes, but I know a lot of people use concealers back in the day. This is what we had. I'm just used to it and it works really well. So this is what I'm using. Usually I use my finger, but because my nails are so long, that is just impossible. It just ain't gonna work out. And using this dense, synthetic brush works really, really well. When it comes to the crease, you do want the paint pot or the eyeshadow base to be there, but certainly in a blurred manner. You don't want there to be any harsh lines because I have left harsh lines in the past and it does show in the eyeshadow, depending on the color you're using, it just doesn't look good, okay? So go ahead and blend this. The finger will definitely blend it a lot easier. I'm wiping off the excess and then blending the harsh lines, blending this crease area, essentially, right between my brow bone and my eyelid, okay? Then keeping the eyes stretched because I don't want there to be any <laughs> creasing in my eyeshadow. And then here we have the eyeshadow palette, Light My Fire. Now I wanna go into my crease with this color right up top here. And let's see how this gonna come out. Blending it in windshield wiper fashion, always tapping off the excess. I do like to come right here at the top of the brow that I call it. I don't like for there to be a mark between the brow and the eyeshadow. I like for that to connect. It just looks so much better. I did set my brow bone highlight. So blending this is easy. Feathering it back so that there's no harsh line from my brow bone highlight to my contour. You wanna isolate the crease by pressing your brush into this area. This brush is more fluffy than a lot of other brushes. So depending on how much eyelid space you have, you may wanna choose a brush that is smaller to get in here, but this this is just the kind of brush that I like to use. The brush itself doesn't matter, it's more so the shape of it, right? Choose your brushes based on the space that you're trying to color in. Cause we're coloring right now, okay? This is like a coloring book, all right? Taking the product more, dusting off the excess, and I'm blending this in. Then I take leftover product that's on my bronzer brush. This is a 59 brush from Sephora. And I'm just going over this area so that there are no harsh lines, okay? With that. Now I do want this to be more spicy. I'm going to go back and forth and build up with this, with these two colors here. Let's see. I want it to be spicy. 
So this gave us some more orange, reddish orange in here, which I think looks really good. And I took a little bit of the yellow, dusting off the excess and right here, creating a very subtle sunset. You might not be able to see it, but in person, I can see it a little bit. It does make a subtle difference. You should see a difference between both eyes. I wanna put this yellow all over my eyelid, but yellow be acting real dumb sometimes. It can go with my blazer a little bit, but yellow doesn't always show up so well and I just don't wanna deal with that. Let me take this brown color. Oh, the night I look at it, it's looking real red. Hold on, that is not brown. Hold on, this is very red. That's not what I want for the crease per se. All right, I'm using the Huda Topaz Obsessions because I wanna deepen this crease with the brown. Now, because I want this crease color to really be concentrated, I took a smaller eyeshadow brush in order to place that right in the crease. Now, of course, I'm gonna feather that out with this brush. It has leftover product on it, but really and truly, I'm gonna take some of this reddish brown again. We are building here, y'all. We are building. I need it to look a certain way. So I'm building until it looks that way. Okay, blending it out, taking some more of this brown to go right up in here. I'm looking down to avoid fallout on my face. Okay, I've decided to do a cut crease, which I do not do very often. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the color Honey. I'm gonna use a concealer that is just too light for me to use on its own in this flat synthetic brush, taking some. I have not on a cut crease in a minute. You could take the product and wipe, but I find that since it's gonna pull on your eyelid skin, it doesn't create the cleanest cut. So I like to just pull down in short motions, obviously. And make sure you have a lot of product toward the tip of the brush because that's where you're gonna create the cut. And really the cut crease don't need to come all the way over. This is fine. Getting it to be even is always the trick. I mean, I've done this enough times where that's why I'm going fast. But if you ever try to, first of all, comment and let me know if you've tried a cut crease before. It is definitely not for beginners. When this first came out or when it became popular among us regular people, I think it started in drag, although I'm not sure. I was so nervous to try it. It seemed so insurmountable, but I figured it out. It has just taken some time. The key is you wanna make sure your crease is dark. Whatever color you're using, you want it to be really dark because when you cut the eye, you need there to be a contrast between the lid color and the crease color. And then you just wanna keep staring to try to get this to be equal. Although it's really hard. As close as possible, honey, it ain't gonna be that equal. Maybe that is good enough, okay? Keeping the eyelids closed a little so that this doesn't crease, it's gonna be obvious through the eyelid eyeshadow if there's a crease. Also with the cut crease, in order for it to really be a huge transition between the crease color, which is brown, and then the lid color, you want your lid color to obviously be much lighter than the crease color. I could do the yellow, but let me start off with this light color toward the beginning of the palette. This light color actually looks like the concealer. <laughs> Literally the same color as the concealer, so I'm just setting this right now. And I'm using this flat brush because I wanna pack it on. I'm not trying to you know, blend anything fluff anything on here. We just want it to stay. And by using this type of brush, I'm further defining this crease by using this brush to do it. And just take your time. I'm in the same palette, this color right here. And I'm stopping right there because I'm going to create a gradient to blend all of this in. This looks good. All right, and now, because I don't want to make other brushes dirty, I don't feel like it. I'm gonna use my travel situation with the Cinema Secrets brush cleaner, taking some in this container that it comes with and then I'm gonna clean the brush that I used for the brown cleaning that so I just put it inside and then it's soaked like this take a paper towel baby she's good to go okay and she's dry this is fast drying so let's see now I'm gonna use that yellow and put some of that in here let's see always tapping off the excess just to create some gradient here and we're gonna follow up with the brown at the end of the crease or 
at the end of the lid color, really. It might look a little wild right now, but it will come together. Some looks do not look good until I'm finished, so. <laughs> This one is kind of looking a little sketchy right now, especially since the cut crease ended so abruptly, but you'll see once I tie it all in, okay? I could have used a flat, dense brush to do this, but whatever, it'll still get the job done. All right, and now toward this area, I'm gonna bring these colors around, the warms and all of that. Same palette, that reddish orange, just bringing it right to the end here, like the back, okay? And then we're gonna need that brown to tie everything in. Maybe, maybe not. I'm wiping off my brush, but let me get a different brush to smooth out this area right here. Maybe I don't. Let me take some of the reddish orange right up here. Maybe I don't because I will do a brown eyeliner which will tie all of this in. So let me just leave it like that. Okay, just kidding. I got a little crazy with the reddish brown on this side. <laughs> so I'm cleaning the same brush all over again and then I'm gonna use the brown in the Huda Topaz palette and deep in this. See, just real subtly on that side, but more so on this side, light strokes as I went overboard over here. Now it's not looking too even. Hold on. <laughs> this is an intricate eye. Jeez Louise. We just going to dinner for God's sake. It's looking very fire hydrant. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now I'm going to bring these colors down to the bottom and then do eyeliner and mascara and eyelashes, and then we gonna come back, okay? All right, final touches on this lip is this IBP Glaze, honey. It has glitter in it, it is just so cute. Ugh, mm, 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 baby. This lip is so glittery, love it. Yo, you would think I had somewhere like, really like somewhere to go? <laughs> Yes, oh, let me get my blazer, hold on. Okay, 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 here is the look, baby. What do we think? Comment and let me know. Oh, this watch is JBW Crystal 34, I'll link it and I'll link the bracelet also. But comment and let me know what you think about this look. Your girl got her sewing or whatever, loving it with the leave out and all of the things. I love how this came out. I'm gonna put on some blue jeans, some heeled sandals, a kilo bag, and it's gonna be a whole vibe, okay? I want you to comment and let me know how much you love and adore this look. What part of it is your favorite? Do you have any of these products? Do you plan on purchasing any of them? Just let me know what other videos you wanna see also. Make sure you're subscribed. The video was bomb and you know that. You know this. So make sure you are subscribed. And as always, I'm glad you're here. Thanks for watching. Bye.